In just a minute, I will talk to the writer who spent over five hours with Matt Lauer in his kitchen. But first, the latest at NBC News since the release of Ronan Farrow's book. New turmoil inside 30 Rock as protesters stand vigil outside the scandal plague network. The women's rights group is calling for the ouster of NBC News president Noah Oppenheim, who, despite the network's sexual misconduct controversy, just secretly signed a big new contract extension. Current employees are said to be upset by what's going on. Even former network star Megyn Kelly went on Fox News to call for an outside investigation of the network. All of this comes in the wake of new sexual assault allegations against Matt Lauer, claims he has denied. The former Today Show host, who has lived in virtual seclusion, just invited one person inside his private world. Journalist John Ziegler spent five hours with Matt Lauer in his kitchen. How did that come about? He called me about a week and a half ago after I wrote a column for Mediate in which I raised some questions about the reporting in Ronan Farrow's new book. What was his energy like? He looked um, different to me than I, I remember him from the Today Show days. It got very emotional at times. Did he cry? There were moments when he was, he was clearly weeping, yes. I was the person telling Matt Lauer about a large portion of the allegations against him in the book because he had not read the book. I went through line by line, specific allegation, detail by detail. He has a very, very different story to tell. Does he want to be back as, as Matt Lauer of Morning TV? I do not believe that that is his primary goal. He is very open. He made enormous mistakes for which he will forever be regretful, but those mistakes did not include any sort of sexual assault, sexual abuse, sexual harassment, or anything that was in the non-consensual category. John, I appreciate you taking time there uh, from your office to talk to us. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.